All right, so basically stepping up to the roller, both hands on the roller and your feet on one side of the roller. You start jumping over side to side, just like you're doing bench hops, basically. Land on one foot or both feet at the same time. Now doubling up the speed so to get your heart rate really rocking here. Notice though we have soft landings. No matter what you're doing, you always want soft landings, all right? Everybody's a big fan of jumping jacks. Of course, we've all done them before. You can jumping jack here by just touching your toes on the top of the roller. Now, this doesn't mean you have to stop on the top of the roller, of course, but notice again, soft landings, right? Keep it at it. Now get yourself into a glute bridge position here. Feet on, what you're gonna do is step forward, step back, step forward, step back, as quickly as you can, of course. So this is what keeps the roller in position, locking your core. It's a great exercise for your abs as well, of course. Now reposition so that you can be ready to go side to side. See there, tap on the side, tap on the side. The supporting leg, of course, is doing just as much work as the leg that is actually moving and keeping you stabilized. Your glutes are getting a great workout. Your abs are getting a great workout as well. A few hamstring curls never hurt anybody. And one. All right, now crossing the legs over and over. Rolling over with your butt basically from one side to the other. And lightly touching the other side as you cross that leg over onto the ground. Excellent. All right, now next, your feet are straight up in the air. You're basically gonna bring your knees to your chest and use your triceps to stabilize as well. Keep going, again, stabilize the core. Keep it steady, seven, six, five, four, stay steady, come on now. Three, legs as straight as possible, two, and one more. Well done. All right, now basically positioning side to side, you're just rolling from one side to the other. This is a great massage, first of all, but of course what you're doing is you're also involving your obliques. You see the twist that's going on there as well side to side and your legs are suspended. Your feet are not touching the ground during this. Get yourself sideways. We're gonna go into basically an oblique crunch. All right, and what you wanna do is stay as straight as possible. Notice we're assisting with the tricep, but your knee is basically going for the elbow and you're really focusing on your obliques here. Right. Wanna keep everything nice and tight while you're working this to the other side, of course. Now you don't have to use that tricep but it gets an involved, right? It's a great way to get as many muscles involved in this move as possible. Remember, staying tight here, keeping the core locked. Three, two, and one more. And well done. All right, stand your foam roller up on end just like this. And do a series of back kicks and forward kicks. Now, add a high kick and a jump. This is all dependent, of course, upon how your knee is. Soft landings, of course. You're just using the foam roller to stabilize. But you're getting a nice high kick. Want to make sure that we have symmetry. Take it over to the other side. Again, you can start without the kick so that you get stabilized without the hop, that is. Then you can go into your hop as soon as you're feeling more stable. Of course, if you have a bad knee, this is not for you. A couple more here. And one more. All right, now. Kick over and back in, kick over and back in. Now knee in and kick over. Back over, knee in and kick over, back over, knee in, kick over, back over. I think you've got it, knee in, kick over and back over. Other side, over, back over, knee in. Over, back over, knee in. Over, back over, knee in. Keep going. Knee in, this is great for your core, your legs, whole lower body. One more here, and we're done. All right, with the roller back on the ground, squat position, we're gonna be stepping on and stepping off. Basically, you're in a squat here, right? You don't want stiff legs, that's for sure. Can you have balance kicking in here, all kinds of muscles firing, as you can see. The other side some hops once in a while and then jump back right left jump back 
foot, foot jump back, step, step, jump back, step, step, jump back. Just one more here. And again with the roller on the ground, you wanna position it under your hips, basically. Your arms out in front, you're gonna roll forward. Now your back's getting involved here, of course, as well as multiple other muscles. Again, your legs are completely straight. Roll in gently. Legs out. You're doing some contractions with your butt here. Make sure you're stabilized in your lower back. The legs together, up and down. And the side toe touches. Together, side to side toe touches. Together, side to side toe touches. Now it's your choice if you wanna bring the feet to the ground or not when you do the toe touches. Now roll it all the way in until your knees are basically against your stomach. Stabilizing back out, rolling back in. You're really gonna get your core involved now as you slide forward and bring your knees in and lift your butt. Legs are together during this. Make sure you're breathing nice and regularly through this, of course. Back out, crunch it all the way in, reposition your hands, and take it into a modified version, which is really gonna contract your lower abs, especially. One arm and on your side. Back down to the other side, and both hands together and to the other side. Nice and soft with the core. Notice the feet are rolling from one side to the other and the legs are completely straight. Several muscle groups again firing, not the least of which is your supporting arm. Triceps are really getting involved. Your shoulders, of course, really getting involved. Just a couple more here. I'm gonna take it into a push-up position after this. Down to the elbows and back up, like you do in a plank. Down to the elbows and then climb basically back up on your hands. Down to the elbows and climb back up to your hands. We'll just keep doing that. Of course, you can throw in push-ups at this point, roll-outs with your abs in this plank here, like you would with a, a stability ball, for example. In and out. Several muscle groups working at this point. Stretch it out. Get a nice stretch with your back. But you your... want to get on your toes so we can hit the shins. Moving forward and back, you're doing flexion movement here with the feet, which is terrific for runners. You can do more of these if you want, of course, but we're limited on time. Maybe one more here. Now, two hands on one side of the roller and the foot beside them. Cross leg in, you're gonna do some touches. Two. Stabilizing, of course, with your hands and the supporting leg. Great exercise it involves, again, several muscle groups. It's amazing what you can do with this roller. On the other side, of course, for symmetry, remember, plant your hands together. In this case, to the left of your foot. And you're basically performing a lunge with a lot of extras associated, a lot of added benefits. Now, extend the leg out straight. We can't neglect the calves, of course. We're gonna start assisted till you get the move using your hands for the roller. All right, and there we are. Basically, now we have the calves involved. The other side, of course. Now that we've got it down and we know what we're doing, twisting in and out, flexioning. Reposition when you need to, of course, as you're stabilizing. Balance really kicks in when you're working with this apparatus. Okay, we're gonna do some step backs. Pick up the roller over your head and step back and alternate to the other side. Two, excellent. Got your shoulders involved here, your core involved, your legs, of course, and of course, your glutes. Control your breathing, keep at it. Three, alternating four, five, couple more and all done. All right, hop back to this being your starting position. You're gonna bring your legs in to the roller. One, hands out, hands in. Hands out, hands in. Hands out, hands in. Hands out, hands in. 
All right, we're going to add a push-up now. Push up. And a push-up. Narrow push-up. Wide hands. Push-up. Narrow hands. Push-up. Wide hands. Here we go. Push-up. Nearly done. Narrow hands. Push-up. Wide hands. Push-up. You are done this set. But wait, that's not all. Here's a bit of a bonus move for you. Basically a side plank with a nice scissor kick. It's a lot harder than it looks, believe me. Well, hopefully this has expanded your thinking a bit about the foam roller, that it's not just for massage and therapy. It is actually a great tool for a full body workout that can be very intense using minimal room. Hope you get creative with it and you've enjoyed the circuit with Susan Aruda of GetFitFaster.ca.